student will start with chapter 2 acid bases and salt and solve the book exercise questions given on page 34 so let's start question number 1 a solution turned red litmus blue its ph is likely to be option a 1 b 4 c 5 and d 10 so here the solution as it turns red litmus blue so it is a base and you know the ph of a base is always above 7 so your answer is obviously d that is 10 a solution reacts with uh, cross x cell to give a gas that turns lime water milky the solution contains now you have already studied earlier that it is carbon dioxide that turns lime water milky and in this chapter we have studied that metallic carbonates when it reacts with an acid it gives salt water and carbon dioxide gas so uh, uh, cross x cell it is uh, calcium carbonate so calcium carbonate that is you have already studied that any metallic metal carbonates when it react with an acid it gives carbon dioxide gas plus salt plus water so the options given here number a is sodium chloride it is a salt so number b is hydrochloric acid and uh, number c is lithium chloride it's again a salt and number d is potassium chloride it is also a salt so your answer is obviously b that is hydrochloric acid now number 3 10 ml of a solution of uh, sodium hydroxide is found to be completely neutralized by 8 ml of a given solution of hydrochloric acid if we take 20 ml of the same solution of uh, sodium hydroxide the amount of hydrochloric acid solution the same solution as before required to neutralize it will be so this is just a simple mathematical calculation uh, when 10 ml was taken you need 8 ml to neutralize it and if you increase the amount to 20 ml obviously you will need 16 ml to neutralize it so your answer is option d Question number four: Which one of the following types of medicine is used for treating indigestion? So options given here are antibiotic, analgesic, antacid, and antiseptic. So your answer is C. That is antacid. Question number five: Write word equations and then balance equations for the reactions taking place when number A dilute sulfuric acid reacts with zinc granules number B dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium ribbon number C dilute sulfuric acid reacts with aluminum powder and number D dilute hydrochloric acids react with iron filings i am giving the answers one by one Answer number A: Sulfuric acid plus zinc gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. H2SO4 aqueous plus zinc solid gives ZnSO4 that is aqueous and hydrogen gas. Answer number five B: Hydrochloric acid plus magnesium. gives magnesium chloride plus hydrogen 2 hcl aqueous plus mg solid gives mgcl2 aqueous plus hydrogen answer c sulfuric acid plus aluminum gives aluminum sulfate plus hydrogen 3 H2SO4 aqueous plus 2 Al solid gives Al2SO4 3 aqueous plus 3H2. Answer D. Hydrochloric acid plus iron gives ferric chloride plus hydrogen. 2 HCl aqueous plus 2 Fe solid gives 
2FeCl3 aqueous plus 3H2. Question number 6. Compounds such as alcohols and glucose also contain hydrogen but are not categorized as acids. Describe an activity to prove it. Answer. Activity. Number 1. Two nails are fitted on a cork fix at a 100 ml beaker. Number 2. The nails are then connected to the terminals of a 6 volt battery through a bulb and a switch. Number 3. Some dilute hydrochloric acid is poured in the beaker and the current is switched on. Number 4. The same experiment is then performed with glucose solution and alcohol solution. Observation. The bulb glows in the HCl solution and does not glow in the glucose or alcohol solution. Result In aqueous solution, HCl dissociates into H plus and Cl minus ion that is hydrogen and chloride ions. These ions conduct electricity in the solution resulting in the glowing of the bulb. On the other hand, the glucose solution and alcohol solution does not dissociate into ions. Therefore, the bulb does not glow. Conclusion all acid contain hydrogen but not all compounds containing hydrogen are acids so alcohols and glucose contain hydrogen but they are not categorized as acids so this was your answer number six For answer number 6, you will draw this diagram. Question number 7. Why does distilled water not conduct electricity whereas rain water does? Answer. Presence of iron makes a liquid a conductor of electricity. Distilled water does not conduct electricity because it does not contain any ionic compound like acids, bases or salts dissolved in it. Rain water while falling to the earth through the atmosphere dissolves an acidic gas carbon dioxide from the air and forms carbonic acid H2CO3. Carbonic acid provide hydrogen ions H plus and hydrogen carbonate ions HCO3 minus, also known as bicarbonate. Hence, due to the presence of carbonic acids, which provides ions to rainwater, the rainwater conducts electricity. So, this was your answer number seven. Question number 8. Why do acids not show acidic behavior in the absence of water? The acidic behavior of an acid is due to the hydrogen ions. The dissociation of hydrogen ions from an acid occurs only in the presence of water. Therefore, acids do not show acidic behavior in the absence of water. Question number 9. Five solutions A, B, C, D and E when tested with universal indicators showed pH as 4, 1, 11, 7 and 9 respectively. Which solution is neutral, strongly alkaline, strongly acidic, weakly acidic, weakly alkaline? Arrange the pH in increasing order of hydrogen ion concentration. Answer. Neutral solution D with pH 7, number B, strongly alkaline solution C with pH 11, 
Number C, strongly acidic solution B with pH 1. Number D, weakly acidic solution A with pH 4. Number E, weakly alkaline solution E with pH 9. The pH can be arranged in increasing order of hydrogen ion concentration as 11, 9, 7, 4, 1. So pH with 11 has the list hydrogen ion concentration and the solution with pH 1 has the highest concentration of hydrogen ions. So this was your answer to question number 9. Question number 10. Equal lengths of magnesium ribbons are taken in test tubes A and B. Hydrochloric acid is added to test tube A while acetic acid is added to test tube B. Amount and concentration taken for both the acids are same. In which test tube will the fusing occur more vigorously and why? Answer number 10. The freezing occur more vigorously in test tube A in which hydrochloric acid was added. This is because hydrochloric acid is stronger than acetic acid and therefore produces hydrogen gas at a faster speed due to which freezing occur more vigorously. Question number 11. Fresh milk has a pH of 6. How do you think the pH will change as it turns into guard? Explain your answer. Answer. The pH of fresh milk is 6. As it changes into guard, the pH will decrease because guard contains lactic acid which reduces the pH. Question number 12. A milkman adds a very small amount of baking soda to fresh milk. Number A. Why does he save the pH of the fresh milk from 6 to slightly alkaline? Number B. Why does this milk take a long time to set as card? Answer. The milkman sift the pH of the fresh milk from 6 to slightly alkaline because in alkaline condition milk does not get sour easily. This milk takes a long time to set as card because lactic acid produced to set the card is neutralized by the base, that is the baking soda. Question number 13. Plaster of Paris should be stored in a moisture proof container. Explain why. Answer. Plaster of Paris should be stored in a moisture proof container because plaster of Paris, a powder, absorbs water moisture to form a hard solid known as gypsum the equation CSO4 1 by 2H2O plus 1 1 by 2H2O gives CSO4 2H2O question number 14 what is a neutralization reaction give two examples Answer. A reaction in which an acid and base react with each other to give a salt and water is called a neutralization reaction. In this reaction, energy is evolved in the form of heat. For example, sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce salt, sodium chloride and water. NaOH plus HCl gives NaCl plus H2O. Number 2. Magnesium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce salt, magnesium chloride and water. MgOH2 plus 2HCl gives MgCl2 plus 2H2O. Question number 15. Give two important uses of washing soda and baking soda. Answer. Two important uses of washing soda. Number one. Washing soda or sodium carbonate is used in glass, soap and paper industries. 
Number two, it is used for removing permanent hardness of water. Two important uses of baking soda. Number one, baking soda, also called sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate, is used for making baking powder. Number two, it is an ingredient in antacid. Being alkaline, it neutralizes excess acid in the stomach and provides relief.